All right, again, we're going to make another tab. We're going to finish our letters, which is NG, so it's going to say factoring all the way down. And the title of this tab is Solving Equations by Factoring. Solving Equations by Factoring. So again, you're going to take a ruler, cut it to the margin, and then cut it all the way down to make your tab. I'm going to take a look at solving equations by factoring, big numbers of course. So let's take a look at an example. Let's say we had 9x squared plus 6x minus 8 equals 0. Alright, so you need two numbers that multiply to the whatever the first and the last time multiplied together are. So 9 times negative 8 is 72. So two numbers that multiply to negative 72 and add to the middle, which is positive 6. Two numbers that multiply to negative 72. I don't know why I didn't put the negative. I'll put it in later. All right, so the first step is find two numbers that multiply to the product, which means, you know, when you multiply the 9 and the negative 8, of the first and the last number and adds to the middle number. This is a listening check. Color in example 1. Color in example 1. So let's find those two numbers, and we've just done this in a previous video. Um, just list it all out, 1 times, 2 times, 3 times, and so forth. And then let's break it down. So we have 1 times 72, 2 times what? 2 times half of 72. So 72 in dollars is 70 plus 2 dollars. Half of 70 is 35. Half of 2 is 1. So half of 72 is 36. So it's going to be 2 times 36. If I know 30, if I know 2 times 36, then I also know 4 times for my previous note. Half of $36 will be 30 plus 6. Half of 30 is 15. Half of 6 is 3, which gives me 18. So if I have two slices and I cut each of those in half, now I have 4. So 4 times 18. Now we can take half of 18 again because it's still an even number. So that's 10 plus 8. Half of 10 is 5. Half of 8 is 4. So that gives us 9. And if we have 4 pieces and cut each of those in half, we're going to now have 8 pieces. So 8 times 9. Okay, 9 is an odd number, so we can't cut half, but if we'd cut it, if we're able to cut half, that would have given us 16. So let's look at 3. So before we waste our time, we first check if it's divisible by 3 and 9. This is a listening check. Put a box around times 72 and a circle around positive 6. Alright, so 7 plus 2, because that's 72, is 9, so that's divisible by both 3 and 9. So once it's divisible, now you divide, you do long division. So I'm going to do long division of 3 and 9 at the same time. So first come first serve, what gets in the house? 72 outside 3. And then we're going to check 9 as well. So 72 and 9. Alright, then you sing my song. First you divide, then multiply, then subtract. Hey, bring it down. Again, if you're missing any of this work, you get a 0 in the whole notebook. So it's 3 times 24 is 72 and 9 times 8 is 72. So now once you have um, 3 times 24, you can take half of 24, which will break down to 20 plus 4. Half of 20 is 10, half of 4 is 2, so that's 12. So here are 3 pieces, cut each of those in half, now how many pieces do I have? 6. So that's going to give me 6 times 12. And look, that's what I'm looking for. 6 and 12 is going to give me 6. So now play around with the signs. So it needs to be negative 72 and positive 6. So if I put the negative with the 6, 12 minus 6 is 6, and 12 times negative 6 is negative 72. So those are my two numbers. Once you find your two numbers, go ahead and draw a 2 by 2 box. And put the first term in the first box. The last term in the last box. And the two numbers in the middle boxes. The order doesn't matter. And once again, don't forget the middle variable. And all variable means is letter. So let's go ahead and do that. So 2 by 2 box. First term is 9x squared. That goes into the first box. Last term is negative 8. And then the two middle are the two numbers, so put them, order doesn't matter. Don't forget the middle variable, so that's an x. Now, you have to take us the greatest common factor, the horizontal greatest common factor. So, what can I take out? 
between 6 and 9 I can take out 3 and between x squared and x I can take out x. So now you're going to use that to fill the outsides of the box and we've done this so much I'm not going to write down how to do it. So you can refer to previous notes. So 3x three three times something is 9x squared and that's going to be 3x. That times that is that so that's got to be 4. That times that is that, that's going to be negative 2. And then number 5, always check that the last square is true. Sometimes you guys are putting in answers and you haven't checked that last square. That last square must be true. So 4 times negative 2 is negative 8, so it's true. If your box doesn't work, check if you pulled out the greatest common factor, because that's the biggest mistake I've seen, that people are not pulling out the horizontal greatest common factor. So check that before you um, decide that it's not factorable. All right, number six, your factors are on the outside, so what I just circled. So you just put them in parentheses. So 3x plus 4 parentheses and 3x minus 2 parentheses equals zero. Once you have it like this, you're going to set each factor equal to zero and solve. So each of the things equal to zero and solve. So you're going to do 3x plus 4 equals zero and 3x minus 2 equals zero. And then draw a river and solve. Move it to the other side. So it's going to be negative 4. So 3x equals negative 4. Divide both sides by 3. So you're going to get x equals negative 4 over 3. Or x is, take the negative 2 to the other side, so it's positive 2. 3x equals 2. Divide by 3, you're going to get x equals 2 over 3. So those are your two answers. Right, we're going to do a couple of shortcuts that are going to be very useful to save you some time. So example two, instead of writing solve like I do here, write the word factor. That's a listening check. Instead of writing solve, write the word factor. So we're going to factor 9x to the fourth power minus 25. So I'm going to teach you a shortcut real quick. So the shortcut says, if you can take the square root of both terms, And they are separated by a negative. It has to be separated by a negative. Has to be separated by a negative. Has to be separated by a negative. Then take the square root of both terms. The listening check. Color in the word shortcut. Shortcut. Color it in. So what's the square root of 9? X to the fourth power. And the square root of 25. So the square root of 9 is 3. The square root of x to the fourth power is x squared square root of 25 is 5. So take the square root of both terms, write them twice with parentheses. So I'm going to write it again with parentheses. And put a plus in one and a minus in the other. So plus in one, minus in the other. And that's it. That's the shortcut. So if you can take the square root of both and it's separated by a negative. That's I'll look a at another example. So again, instead of solve, write factor there. Instead of the word solve, write factor. And so if you had 16c squared minus 8 to the fourth power. So the same thing. If you could take the square root of the first term and the last term and it's separated by a negative, go ahead and take the square roots. So those are the square roots. Do it twice and add uh, 1 is plus 1 is negative. And that's it. 